Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to turn something into gold. Um, it can be anything, you can use this technique on anything you like. Uh, if you find it helpful and you like this video, don't forget to give it a, a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Right, let's get on with the video. So I've already done it to start with, but you crop out your selection. So I've selected the mid-drift bit of him there. Um, always like to duplicate the layer and put one at the bottom to make sure I can start over if I need to or I'm to go through the laborious process of cutting them out. Turn that one off. Okay, so with your layer selected that you've cut out, see that one there? You want to go up to image, adjustment, and then click on desaturate. So it'll get rid of all the color there. If you go down here to your little icon and click the, where is it gone? The photo filter. I'm going to click this little button here so it creates a clipping mask onto the image that you cut out. Drag the density all the way up to 100%. Make sure color is selected. Click on the little color selector. And now you want to find a color that you think best represents the color gold. So, a little bit fiddly, but I think a little bit more orange, probably. Yellow. We'll get there eventually. Alright, I'll go with that. Okay, now once you have that done and you have your selection desaturated, you have your photo filter on with a clipping mask, you want to go select your selection again, so the layer underneath the clipping mask here. Go up to image adjustments and then click on shadows and highlights right now basically here you're trying to get as much contrast as possible so all these light bits here will stand out so I like to grab the mid-tone contrast I tend to drag it all the way up to the top to start with because it gives you that kind of good gold texture and then from here on in it's playing around with the amounts see how it's made it darker What you're aiming for is to get a nice glow. Just got to play around with the sliders until you find somewhere in there that's quite good. Nearly there. I reckon that will do for us. And then you click OK. Right. And now gold is obviously a metal, so it reflects. So if you... I've just grabbed an image of a pitch. If you drag that up, into, underneath the photo filter layer, it will automatically add it to the clipping mask because it's part of it. If you grab the Move tool, just your image there. See that's starting to look like gold already just because of that reflection. And then on that image layer, make sure, I've already got it set to it, but it will be at normal to start with. Make sure you've got it set at soft light. And that will give it some good properties. Now you want to click on your original layer that you made the selection from. This one. You want to go over and grab your dodge tool, make sure it's set to mid-tones and the exposure is on about 24 to 30%. And now you see all these highlighted bits that are a bit lighter. You just really want to go over those, make them lighter, make them exaggerated. This is what's going to give it the, the nice 
Goldie feel. Don't worry, we're going to do some burning as well in a minute. Make sure it goes on there. Right, you're going to click on the dodge tool again and then make sure you switch it over to burn. Yep, burn, there we go. Make sure you have mid tone selected and again, to be safe, drop it down to around about 30%. And now you just want to go over the darker bits and make them a bit more darker. See how it's bringing the image together? Basically, you want to. I'm doing it quickly, but you want to take your time on this process because this is what's going to bring everything out, all your little details. I'm just doing it quite rough and quick. I'd usually spend a lot more time on this. Switch back to the dodge tool again. Just a little bit I want to highlight, make that a bit brighter. Yep, it's looking good. Right, that's starting to look like gold to me. Right, make sure you've got the original selection there clicked and then add a new layer so it goes under in a clipping mask onto that original layer. Set this blending mode to color dodge. If you grab soft brush make sure the harshness is down any size you like really make sure you're in a pure white color I like to do this just to give it a bit of a bit of a sheen right just do one stroke to start with across it and grab the fill percentage and drag it down you see how it's giving it that glossy effect you want to put a couple of these on you do I didn't like that one. Get the eraser on that and make that one a bit thinner, I think. That's giving it a nice, good, glossy effect. Right. Now, this is a little technique I like to do. You don't have to do this bit, but I'll chuck a levels adjustment one on there. And I'll just bring the highlights down. That one up a bit. To get a nice big contrast in it. See it looks a bit crap there to be honest. You grab the fill percentage and drag that down again. And bring your goldy texture back. I think that just emphasises it a little bit more. There we go. And now what you want to do, you want to go back to your original selection layer. You want to duplicate that layer. Uh, yep, okay. Um, all right, we've just lost everything there. Right, <laughs> if I just put the clip and basks back on. Right, there we go, we're back to where we are. All right, and we've got another one of these. So, if we chuck that one in on top of it, with that new layer selected, you want to go over to Filter, Filter Gallery. Alright, and make sure you're on Glass, and use these settings, the Distortion on 1, Smoothness on 3, Texture Frosted, and the Scaling on about 176%, and click OK. Right, we've got some ripples in there now, so you just want to click the fill again and just bring it down to about 55% just so it gives that gold feel, maybe a little bit lower. It's just all about playing around with this bit to give it the gold shimmer. 
and you're just about done with turning it into a gold texture. And if you think the colour's a little bit off, you don't want it that yellow, just come up here to your colour picker and just drag it down into a bit orange that is now, isn't it? Into a deeper colour or a lighter colour. There, that looks a bit more gold, doesn't it? We'll go with that one. There we go. Um, you can create this, use this to make it silver as well, because it's the same. It's creating a metal density, really. Anyway, guys, if that's helped you um, and you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and a, a thumbs up. Brilliant. Look forward to the next video. Leave any comments below on anything you want tutorials on, how to do anything on Photoshop. That's it. Thanks for watching. Cheers, guys.